the the idea is that on the weekday masses, Monday through to Friday, they will be uploaded on the web almost as quickly as possible after the celebration of the mass, which means that the mass you have will be, hallelujah, the mass of the day itself. Um, the weekend mass, however, will be filmed and, and edited, and um, that will be done at different times. We haven't sort of locked in a particular time to be doing that each week. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Welcome everyone as we come together for our Mass today. The 31st of December, 2020. We probably thought it would never come. But in fact, of course, it comes at a time when our vigilance, awareness of our need to be uh, particularly careful uh, here, there and everywhere has um, been heightened once again just over the last 24 hours or so. So uh, whether it's masks or where we are or who we're with or how close we are, uh, what we touch, where we go, all of those things which have got to be part of our our vigilance to keep uh, all of us safe. Uh, not surprisingly, while it might be the end of 2020, we need to carry that further forward very much into 2021. But we ask the Lord's help and guidance, not only in those areas of life, but in every other area by which we seek to serve the Lord, and a mixture of looking back on the year that's been, but also in uh, looking forward to the year that is to come in the hope that the Lord's guidance and presence will be very much with us during that as well. We pause for a moment and we ask God's forgiveness for our sins. Lord Jesus, you have revealed yourself as the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You have poured out on your people the spirit of truth. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are the Good Shepherd, leading us to eternal life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, in the nativity of your Son, you established the beginning and fulfilment of all religion. Grant that we may be numbered among those who belong to him, in whom is the fullness of human salvation, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Children, these are the last days. You were told that an antichrist must come, and now several antichrists have already appeared. We know from this that these are the last days. Those rivals of Christ came out of your own number, but they have never really belonged. If they had belonged, they would have stayed with us. But they left us to prove that not one of them ever belong to us. But you have been anointed by the Holy One and have all received the knowledge. It is not because you do not know the truth that I am writing to you, but rather because you know it already and know that no lie can come from the truth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let heaven and earth exult in joy. Let heaven and earth exult in joy. O sing a new song to the Lord. Sing to the Lord all the earth. O sing to the Lord, bless his name. Proclaim his help day by day. Let heaven and earth exult in joy. Let the heavens rejoice and earth be glad. Let the sea and all within it thunder praise. Let the land and all it bears rejoice. All the trees of the wood shout for joy at the presence of the Lord. For he comes, he comes to rule the earth. 
Let heaven and earth exult in joy. With justice he will rule the world. He will judge the peoples with his truth. Let heaven and earth exult in joy. Please stand to welcome the gospel with the Alleluia verse, Alleluia, Alleluia. The word of God became flesh and dwelt among us. He enabled those who accepted him to become the children of God. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. On the, uh, the last day of the year, and maybe especially <laughs> the last day of this year, something perhaps a little different, but has a, uh, a purpose to it. Um, this may bring rejoicing, but I'm not going to give a, a homily. Uh, what I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to read this gospel very slowly, piece by piece, line by line. It's the beginning of St John's Gospel. Uh, one or two of you may be old enough to remember when we used to call it the last gospel because it was read at every Mass, at the, at the end of Mass. But that was in Latin and we probably didn't understand much of it then. And if we read it in a hurry, we probably don't understand much of it even, uh, even now in English. But in fact, it's, um, it's an extraordinary piece of writing and it's a whole compilation of um, salvation history, I suppose you'd call it, and um, in, expressed in, in a magnificent way. And to just read it uh, quickly does it a great disservice. So for today, at the end of the uh, year and on the eve of our new year, um, we look at the whole picture of life itself, of God, of us, of Jesus, as often referred to as the Word. If you're reading, looking at this, um, it, it means that um, the second person of the Trinity, God's expression of himself. It's Word with a capital W. In the beginning was the Word. The Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through him, all things came to be. Not one thing had its being, but through him. All that came to be had life in him, and that life was the light of men, a light that shines in the dark, a light that darkness could not overpower. A man came sent by God, and his name was John. He came as a witness, as a witness to speak for the light, so that everyone might believe through him. He was not the light, only a witness to speak for the light. The word was the true light that enlightens all men. And he was coming into the world. He was in the world that had its being through him, and the world did not know him. He came to his own domain, and his people did not accept him. But to all who did accept him, he gave the power to become children of God. To all who believe in the name of him who was born not out of human stock, or urge of the flesh, or will of man, but of God himself. The word was made flesh. He lived among us, and we saw his glory. The glory that is his as the only son of the Father, full of grace and truth. John appears as his witness. He proclaims, this is the one of whom I said, he who comes after me ranks before me because he existed before me. Indeed, 
From his fullness we have all of us received. Yes, grace in return for grace. Since though the law was given through Moses, grace and truth have come through Jesus Christ. No one has ever seen God. It is the only Son who is nearest to the Father's heart who has made him known. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Don't sit down in a hurry because we'll have our prayers of intercession as soon as I can find them. Here we go. Christ, radiance of God's glory, sustaining the universe with your all-powerful word, give us life today through the power of your gospel. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. Christ, liberator of the whole human race, give all people the freedom needed to do your will. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. Christ, eternal Son of the Father, yet born for us in the stable at Bethlehem, help your church to be ever detached from the unnecessary things of this world. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. All powerful, ever living God, we thank you for the birth of your Son, which is the source and perfection of our Christian life and worship. Number us among his people, for the self salvation of all mankind is found in him who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. From our memorial book we pray today for the repose of the soul of Pamela Watson, whose anniversary of death occurs today. Eternal rest grant unto her, O Lord, may perpetual light shine upon her. May she rest in peace. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Let's read this wine. And water that we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in the humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Let us pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, you give us the gift of true prayer and of peace. Through this holy offering, graciously grant that we may give fitting homage to your divine majesty. By partaking in this sacred mystery, may we be faithfully united in mind and in heart. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in the mystery of the Word made flesh, a new light of your glory has shone upon the eyes of our mind, so that as we recognize in him God made visible, we may be caught up through him in love of things invisible. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, 
and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Peter, our Bishop, all the clergy and all your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may be heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour are yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. You live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. To soften each other, a sign of end of year, coming of new year, peace in Christ.
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Only say the word and my soul shall be healed. few weeks of the year that has been, this uh, spiritual communion prayer has been a, a very helpful and uh, engaging part of our, our worship, uh, in the, uh, particularly for those watching this at home or in other different places, and we unite ourselves very much with the Eucharistic uh, mystery, even for those many people who cannot directly participate. In Holy Communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in this most holy sacrament. I love you above all things. I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, may your people whom you guide and sustain in many ways experience both now and in the future the remedies which you bestow. With the needed comfort of things that pass away, may we strive with ever-deepened trust for things that are eternal with ever-deepened trust. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Just mention that we have our uh, New Year Mass tonight at uh, uh, 11 o'clock, which is a, really a vigil of the solemnity of Mary, the Mother of God, the feast for uh, New Year's Day, January the 1st. But uh, also mentioned tomorrow's Mass will be at 10 o'clock, being public holiday, and next week will be sort of, dare we use the word normal for the time being, uh, but what we hope is normal, 10 o'clock on Monday, 9.15 uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Um, the only other thing to mention is that you probably are aware that one of the uh, nominated uh, areas of uh, COVID detection over the past 24 hours has been a uh, church not, not that far from here in, in Dufton. It's not a matter of anybody's fault. These things just happen. But it is a, a recognition that it can happen anywhere to anyone, and uh, the need for for things like whether it's uh, the masks, whether it's the signing in, um, either so for the weekday masses, while you don't have to book, you are. It is very important that you sign in either with the QR code or with the um, uh, sign in signature, um, and they're just the general area of vigilance that we have. Uh, obviously within the within the church framework itself, but also wherever we are, and to recognise that if only got to look at the uh, uh, devastation that is still continuing 
<clears throat> in many parts of the world. Uh, I heard yesterday a, a newly elected uh, United States congressman, aged only in his 42, I think, um, died from the coronavirus uh, over the last couple of days. Now, that's they're, they're the well-known cases. Of course, there's a, sadly <clears throat> thousands and thousands of others. So we... Um, we just need to make sure that we don't become complacent and that we're responsible in the way in which we do things and especially from a parish perspective that um, our awareness here remains remains high. It's only, um, looking up before, it's only the 30th of November, only a month ago that we were able to put 150 people in the church. Only a month, four weeks. And uh, in terms of what we did for Christmas, well, I think we've... It's only two weeks. So that's where we are and that's where we want to stay. But it's important that we continue to do our bit. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. And a happy and holy new year to you all.